hello viewers in this video i'm going to show you how you will be able to post your post under different pages so what you are seeing now i have three pages the home which is given to you by default they have created additional two pages page two and page three then i have also included three post post for page two post for page three and post for home page but when i view the block you see that all the posts that i've made have all come under the home page post for page two has come under home page post for page three has come under home page and then post for the home page which is which should be under the home page is already there now, now when we click on page two you will notice that we have no post under page two the same thing applies to page three so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you'll be able to post under your various pages without going to um home the home the home page okay so let me close this tab and let's get to work the first step you have to do is to delete the already existing pages except the home page in fact for the home page you can't even delete because the option is not given so let's delete all these home pages all these pages sorry don't worry about your post because they are not going to be affected just delete the pages now go to your post and under each post click on edit when you click on edit you'll be given the post now on the right hand side there's something called the labels click on the labels and here you enter the name of the page you want to create it is important to enter the name of the page you want to create for easy identification because you may end up creating a lot of labels and if you don't name them accordingly you may find yourself messing things up so i'm going to create a label for page two so i'll write page two and then click done so now i've linked this post to page two label so in the next minute i'm going to create a page called page two so let's update it now a page or refresh yes this post is for page two when you go to view block all right you see page two for the post before page two click on this page two here now what you do is you what click on the post for page two that's the title of the post click on it and now you copy the link for this particular page post you copy copy the link and you close it now when you come back create a new web address and enter the name of the new page you want to create so here you want to create a page and you enter the URL you copied, paste it here, and then save it. Yes, you now have another page called page two. Now let's view and see whether this page post for page two has really come under page two. View block. Now we are on the home page, so we have the home page. Now go to page two. yes it's working the post has come under page two directly all right let's close it let's do the same for post for page three edit go to label and then here you create a new label for page three so here name it page three all 
right? You can make you can give it any other name, but for convenience sake, convenience sake, sorry, you have to rename it P3 according to the name of the page you are you create for easy identification. I already have the uh the first one I created here, page two. This is then another one, so you click enter. And when you go there, page three is the one selected. Okay, so you update it. You update it. So I My link is giving me problems. So now, when you come back, you realize that the label for the P3 has been added. You have to go to view block. Then you click on page 3. Okay. You click on the label first, then go to page 3. You can click on this direct. So click on page 3. Then you copy. Copy the name of the page. Right. And you close it. And you come to new web page. Uh -huh. And paste the link on save. Now we have page 3. Let's view the block and see whether the page, the post has come under page 3. Click on page 3. And yes, yes, it's under page 3. Let's, let's, let's check the one on. Page two. It's also there. All right. So it works like that. Assuming you want to create a new post, a new post, you just give it the the name of the post, the content, and then you select the label. You can decide to choose any of these labels. Choose any of these labels, or can you decide to create a new page like um, tutorials? Anything, click done. Then the page you create should match this label, okay? And decide to give it a new page and anything. This is how it works. All right, I'm not going to save it. Okay. Go back. So now you have done it, but then there's a there's a problem somewhere. Let's view the block. You realize that all the posts that we have pasted have all come under the home page, and yet they have also re reflected in, on the other pages. This is here, and at the same time. So, so yes, yeah. but when you go here, yes, they are all here. So, in the next step, I'm going to show you how to overcome this problem. So, follow me now. When you come to your dashboard, go to settings, and when you go to set settings, you choose search preferences, okay. Then you go to custom redirects and click on edit. Okay, and then here you enter exactly what I'm going to enter forward slash from forward slash to forward slash capital P forward slash no space static home page dot HTML. This is what we need. Forward slash, forward slash, capital P, forward slash, static on the web. And click on permanent. Okay, and save it. After that, we save the changes. And when you read the blog,
see that all the posts have vanished under the home page sorry the page you were looking for in this blog that but when you go to page two the post is there i'm going to pick there the post for page three is there so it's only here that we have cleared all the pages so that it doesn't look ugly on the page all right so you can decide to name this page closed page okay and now you can call it closed page maybe create a new page a new page and rather call it order call it home page home page and have some other things to write here publish and then after that you can move it up here and bring this one down here Yes, and then how to save the arrangements. Right, so when you do your block, you have your home page. Since this one is the default, it will come back. Just click on your home page. Then you have about uh, one nice feature on the home page. Have your other pages. Um, Thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.